this is Amy. Welcome today to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you a round brush design. I'm going to be using a number 16, a magic round brush. I'm also going to be using a number 12, a magic flat brush. And a number 10, Deerfoot Stippler, along with my scrunchy fine liner by Westonia. All right, paints I'm using are all folk art paints. I'm using Tea Berry, Teddy Bear Brown, Licorice, Evergreen, Yellow Light, and Thicket. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I am going to be doing this design in threes, of course. I'm going to tip the front, paint on me, the front of the brush, and this is the Deerfoot Stippler. See how it's kind of angled? I'm going to put the front into the Teddy Bear Brown, the back into the licorice. I just kind of tap it a little bit. All right, so then I'm going to create the centers and kind of come around. You can actually go around in one circle. Just have to put more paint on here. All right. And then I'm going to do it over here. I actually wish this bottle were a little bit wider would be nice. And you can tap these in and then go back over them again once you paint your design. That's up to you. And sometimes I can get these exactly the way I like them and sometimes they're harder, harder for me to do. I'm not sure why. All right, so then I'm gonna take my round brush and I'm gonna stick it into my tea berry, get it good and loaded with paint. And on this one, I'm just gonna do this one coat of paint, one color of paint, I should say. I'm pressing down and I'm pulling up as I go away from the center. Pulling up as I go away. Now you may not have a clean, completely clean tip, excuse me, tip, but that's okay. They're a little, just a little fun design. They don't have to be all crisp and neat. Because when you do it this way, a lot of times you're going to have a little roughly edges, and that's fine. So basically, I'm just pushing down, and I'm pulling and raising up as I pull. Pretty easy, right? Now, as you can see, some of this is not very... Uh, I'm going to lose my train of thought. Opaque. So you can go back over it again. I'm just choosing not to use another color. If I wanted to put white with it or go over it again with, with white, that would actually take care of that. But I don't really want to do it that way. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. Now for you, if you're creating this, if you're creating these to sell or you're creating it for yourself and you want it to have a thicker coverage, which would be more durable, then you can hit it with a heat gun, hair dryer, or use another color if you want to go over it or just maybe give it an hour or so to dry and go back over it again. So again, that's you know up to you. When you're doing a bottle like this, that can be, you know, it's not as concerning to have a thick coverage because you're not going to be handling it like standing and drinking and handling it kind of deal. You're going to be putting it on a shelf or something to that effect. So it's not as important. All right, next thing I'm going to do is put my stem in and I'm just going to do my three colors. All right. And I'm going to just come over here and just do a little bit of a wavy stem. 
and I'm going to go over it again and again just to make sure I have it thick enough so it doesn't come off easily or scratch type of thing and then I'm going to just do some little little pieces that will come out from the flower that I'll put some <clears throat> excuse me some uh, leaves on of course because if any of you follow me regularly you know I like my leaves and I'll do the same here look here and I did pick up a little bit of that other color which is fine not a big deal And it really doesn't matter. I'm kind of splitting these a little bit, but the way I'm doing the leaves on this one, it's not really going to matter. All right, so I'm going to stick my one side into the thicket, other one into the evergreen, and then into the the uh, uh, yellow light. Do my blending strokes, and I'll just keep doing this as I create. Same process over and over and over. All right. The leaves that I'm doing on this are going to be my just quick, quick wiggle leaves. And I just go in and out with them just to create an interesting shape. Again, I'm going to not just wiggle, come in and out, wiggle, come in and out, and then turn. And then do the same over here. I am picking up some of the color from underneath, which is fine. If you don't like that, then give it some dry time. That's what I would recommend. All right, so then on this design, I'm just going to have a lot of leaves and again picking up some of that color from underneath because it's wet still and that's okay if you don't like it then you know what to do right give it some dry time you can also scrape some of it off of your brush as you continue to paint and I'm just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And then come in this direction and doing the same thing. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. I just think it's, I don't know. I like leaves, as you all know. And you can rotate the colors where one side is dark, one side is light on the outside. I'm just trying to do them all kind of the same way. And this design is, is meant to have a bunch of leaves. That's how I did the sample. Sometimes I get a little crazier once I get on the actual glass, but this one is meant to have a lot of leaves to it. And you could put more in here if you want. I'm just gonna keep building up. And it doesn't matter if you start at the top, the bottom, doesn't have really have any bearing on it. I like it. I like the colors together. And that one has too much. So I'll go in and add some more yellow to it. Just fun. You know, if you want to just work on your leaves, just sit down with the there are glass that you can just keep wiping off. I have to do this one again. You 
even do different types of leaves too. You can mix them up a little bit. It doesn't have to all be what I'm doing on this one. Makes it a little interesting. And I know I've got a lot of leaves going this direction. I could come out here a little bit, maybe add in one over here, just to kind of try to balance it out a little bit. Make sure I'm on the camera here. So much fun to do leaves. I just love them. I really do. In case you had noticed. And also I like to say too is don't leaves don't have to be green. Yeah, you know, if you want to do them in an offsetting color or coordinating color or something that pops. Do it. You know, just do it. All right, so this is where you can sit back and you can say, hey, do I need to go back over my centers? If you feel like you do, then just go ahead and, and tap over them again. Because they've dried a little bit. I want to put a little bit more paint on this. Come back this way. Do that with this one. I don't think they're too bad as far as how I connected the petals to them because sometimes I like to do them based on that just to make them connected a little bit better. These weren't too bad. All right. I hope you like this video. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. New to my channel, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and prior to leaving, if you would take a moment to share this video on your social network with your family and friends, I would greatly appreciate that. Until the next time, I appreciate you stopping by, and you stay safe and healthy, and have a good one. See you next time.